Dear parents and guests, the graduates of the class of 2016 welcome you to our commencement exercises. May we request that you allow each one of us our moment of recognition in as dignified a manner as possible. We request that you not bring items into the graduation site which may detract from the dignity of the ceremony or create an action which interferes with the ceremony. Individuals who cannot comply with this request will be asked to leave the premises. We earnestly request that you refrain from individual demonstrations of enthusiasm for your particular graduate and that you join us all at the conclusion of the presentation of diplomas with a strong show of pride and congratulations. Thank you for demonstrating your support for us in giving our ceremony the dignity and honor it richly deserves. Estimados padres de familia e invitados, los graduados de la clase del 2016 le damos la bienvenida a nuestra ceremonia de graduación. Quisiéramos rogarles que nos permitan a cada uno de nosotros disfrutar dignamente de este momento de reconocimiento. Les pedimos que no traigan al lugar donde se celebra la graduación artículos que puedan disminuir la solemnidad de la ceremonia o que puedan generar cualquier acción que interfiera con la misma. A las personas que no puedan cumplir con esta petición, se les pedirá que abandonen el local. Les rogamos encarecidamente que se abstengan de hacer demostraciones individuales de entusiasmo por su graduado en particular y que se unan a nosotros al concluir la presentación de los diplomas en una gran expresión de orgullo y felicitaciones. Les agradecemos sus demostraciones de apoyo a nuestros esfuerzos por proporcionar a nuestra ceremonia la dignidad y el honor que tanto merecen. Good. Does it sound? Good morning. At this time, please welcome the platform guests being led by our principal.
Good morning. I am Dr. Lilibet Sosa, Assistant Principal. Please stand as it is my honor to present to you the Hialeah Miami Lakes Class of 2023, led by their class sponsor, Ms. Tessa Santillan.
At this time, I would like to introduce our class of 2023 president, Fabio Gomez. Good morning, and welcome to the Hialeah Miami Lakes Senior High School 50th Annual Commencement Ceremony. Guests, please join our graduating class and stand for the presentation of colors by the HMO Army JROTC and the Pledge of Allegiance by Mauricio Cuba. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem by our HML chorus. Gentlemen, you may place your caps back on. Everyone, please be seated. It is with great pleasure that I invite to the podium our team principal, Mr. Juan Ramirez, who will introduce our distinguished guests. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to introduce our distinguished platform guests. The Honorable Mr. Roberto Alonzo, member, school board of Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Dr. Jose L. Dotris, superintendent of schools, Miami-Dade County Public Schools. The Honorable Senator Rene Garcia, Mr. Jose Bueno, Chief of Staff, Office of Superintendent, and former HML Principal. Mr. Eugene Baker, Chief Information Officer, Information Technology Services, HML Class of 1976. Dr. Verena Cabrera, Regional Superintendent, North Region Office. Mr. Edgardo Reyes, Assistant Superintendent, Title I, Division of Student and Family Support Programs. Dr. Janice Cruz Sanchez, Administrator, Administrative Director, North Region Office. Mr. Alexander Santoyo, Administrative Director, 
North Region Office and former HMO principal, Ms. Jacqueline Arias Gonzalez, principal at Palm Lakes Elementary School, Ms. Kareem Armand, principal at North Dade Middle School, Dr. Cynthia Clay, principal at Dr. Robert B. Ingram Elementary School, and 2023 North Region Principal of the Year. Ms. Nurka Davis, principal at Nathan B. Young Elementary School. Mr. Jose Fernandez, principal at North Twin Lakes Elementary School. Dr. Yanelis Ferre, principal at Miami Lakes K-8 Center. Ms. Jacqueline Lewis, principal at Bunch Park Elementary School. Ms. Anita Marti, Principal, Twin Lakes Elementary School. Ms. Yesenia Martinez, Principal at Bob Graham Educational Center. Ms. Maria Medina, Principal, Miami Lakes Middle School. Ms. Lourdes Nunez, Principal at John G. Dupuy Elementary School. Mr. Jeff Rateau, Principal, Golden Glades Elementary School. Mr. Eriberto Sanchez, Principal, Palm Springs Middle School. Dr. Lilibet Sosa, Assistant Principal, Hialeah Miami Lakes Senior High School. Ms. Angel Robinson, Assistant Principal, Hialeah Miami Lakes Senior High School. Mr. Randy Jones, 12th grade counselor, and Ms. Raquel Cruz, CAP advisor. And now I would like to welcome to the podium the Honorable Mr. Roberto Alonzo, school board member, for some greetings. Good morning. Good morning, class of 2023. What a beautiful day today is. I'm honored to stand here today as we celebrate this incredible moment in your lives. I want to thank Superintendent Dortris, Regional Superintendent Cabrera, District Administration, Principal Ramirez, members of the school administration, and the teachers for your unwavering commitment, passion, and support that you've shown our future leaders. Can we please have a round of applause for all these amazing individuals? As I stand here today, I can't help but feel proud of our graduates. They are a true testament to the hard work, dedication, and passion that has driven them towards success. They have persevered through challenges and have emerged stronger as individuals. Graduates, you are now ready to start a new chapter in your life. And it's a chapter where each one of you will write your own story. You see, up until this point, your parents have woken you up every morning and driven you to school. And you've had great educators pushing you on rigorous curriculum, preparing you for this next chapter in your life. Your education up until this point has been mandatory. Like it or not, you had to get up every morning and go to school. But now, the choice becomes yours. Many of you, actually 80% of you, will be going over to two-year and four-year programs at our local universities and colleges. Some of you will be going to trade schools, but these will be schools of your choosing in courses of study that you are interested in. And if you're not sure really what your interests are yet, don't worry. Give it time. Go out there with your eyes and mind wide open, and you'll figure it out soon enough. Others may choose to go work. And to you, my advice is to find something that drives your passion. Find a job that does not require an alarm clock to wake you up in the morning. A job that you wake up every morning so excited for that you just wake up and go. Remember the lessons that you've learned and the obstacles that you've overcome. And always remember that your achievements are not just a reflection of your individual efforts, but are also a tribute to the loved ones that support you throughout this. Those loved ones are your parents, your abuelos, your siblings. So let's please have a round of applause for your parents and your family members.
Today, as you start this next chapter in your life, never forget where you came from. Embrace your background and use it to propel you forward into future endeavors. Always strive for excellence in everything that you do. Success does not come easy, and it takes hard work, dedication, and perseverance to achieve your goals. Never settle for mediocrity or let setbacks discourage you. Instead, use them as opportunities to learn and grow, and never, ever give up on your dreams. Once again, congratulations to the graduates and your families. You are truly exceptional, and we are honored to now call you graduates of Miami-Dade County Public Schools and proud Trojans. Best of luck to you all, and may God bless you. Felicidades y que Dios los bendiga. Thank you, Mr. Alonzo, for your words. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jose L. Dotris, has been a lifelong passionate educator. Dr. Dotris has served in several capacities over the course of his 30 years in education to include teacher, principal, regional superintendent, chief academic officer, and Chief Human Capital Officer. Serving the community that once welcomed him as a child, his mission is to reinvent, reinvest in that very community while unleashing the potential of every student. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jose L. Dotras. Good morning, everyone. Truly a wonderful moment to celebrate the Trojans of 2023. Let me tell you that this is a once-in-a-lifetime occasion, and I'm honored to be here. So life is about journeys. And today marks the end of a journey for you, but a beginning. It is a time to reflect on your challenges that you have overcome, but more importantly, the accomplishments that you've had going back to kindergarten. How many of you remember your kindergarten teacher? Okay. So if you do or if you don't, today sets the day where it is a culmination of all those years since you entered in, into kindergarten. Sharing with us today are these incredible individuals on stage, and I want to thank all of them for being here so that we can collectively celebrate you. And I want to personally thank our board member, Ms. Rolanzo, for being the incredible champion that he is for students and our entire school district. Thank you, Mr. Alonzo. I too want to celebrate and thank your parents and your beautiful family members that helped you get and meet this incredible milestone. As a parent myself, I know how they're feeling the sense of joy and pride that they have because you look so distinguished. So I'm hoping that today you took that perfect selfie. Did you? All right. So Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High School is an exceptional school. It embodies excellence. It recognizes and celebrates individuality, but more importantly, it validates that every student has incredible potential. Please don't doubt for a moment that the future holds great promise for you. Waldo Emerson said it perfectly, I believe. He said, what lies behind us and what lies 
before us are small matters as compared to what lies within us. A powerful reminder that you can shape your future through your beliefs and your determination. Now I know that all of you have favorite brands. Maybe Adidas, it may be Nike, it may be Beats, but let me tell you about a very unique brand. It is extremely unique. It is not commercial. It is very, very personal. And of course, I am talking about your own personal brand. You have to build it. You have to protect it. Because your brand becomes who you are. So, when you think about your brand, think about what it will represent. And when you take that next selfie, think about what it will reflect. As we embark into the future and we begin to accept and interact with this thing called AI, don't forget that there are qualities like empathy, creativity, and your ability to adapt that are truly powerful human traits. And being human is becoming more important as AI becomes more powerful. Do you agree? So cultivate your brand, make it shine, make it truly who you are. And protecting your brand is almost like protecting your iPhone or your Android from scratches. Like you, many years ago, I was waiting to graduate from high school. I actually entered kindergarten not knowing a word of English. But like you, I worked very hard and I made my parents proud when I finally graduated after 12 years, after entering kindergarten. That was the power of my parents' hope and that was the power of education to me. Amongst you are those that are first generation students that are attaining their high school degree. And soon, there are some of you that are embarking on a journey as first generation college students. Congratulations. We are so very, very proud of you. And yes, the road ahead may not be easy at times, but when you encounter setbacks in your life, embrace them as a chance to become stronger, to become wiser, and be more resilient. Your passion and goals are worth fighting for, and the journey to achieve them will be incredibly awarding. But you have to uncover your why. You have to unleash your purpose. And when you do this, that will ignite your drive. And oh yes, don't ever forget, you need to dream big. Dreams kept Vincent D'Onofrio inspired. He was a student at this school, class of 1977, and he went on to become a successful actor and is known for his supporting and leading roles in both film and television. And I have to celebrate one of my own cabinet members, Mr. Gene Baker, 
a graduate from here, and he is helping us with all of the technology of the third largest school district. So over the years, our schools have produced an incredible number of successful graduates that have left their mark here in the 305 and worldwide. And our alumni have demonstrated time and time again that with passion and dedication, success will emerge. So whether you are on your way to a university, a technical college, you're entering the armed forces, God bless you, or you are creating your own trail to become successful, after today, you will also be an alumni 305. You too will inspire others through your own brand and your own unique path to success. So as your journey sunsets in high school, remember that you have the power to create the life that you envision. Become the masterpiece that you're meant to be. Be the creator of your exceptional brand. And yes, be the author of your success story. I want to now thank your incredible principal, Mr. Ramirez. This is his first graduation, and I know that he's both nervous and proud. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez. And I want to leave you with one piece of advice. Are you ready? So, be bold, be courageous, and be your best. If by chance, opportunity does not knock, build the door. Open the door and make a brighter future for all of us. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Dotris, for those powerful and inspiring words. And now I would like to call to the podium Alex Xavier Baca for the senior reflection. Good morning. To our outstanding faculty, dedicated teachers, our beloved parents, and the 50th graduating class of HML. Now, before we begin, I would like to say thank you to Mr. Ramirez and all of the mentors at HML who helped guide us through our high school years. Your support has truly helped us grow and become the adults we are today. Through the past four years, we have faced and overcome many challenges. Yet these challenges are what helped us grow, not only as a class, but as individuals. The memories we gained, plus the people we met, will always stay in our beautiful hearts and minds forever. This senior class has created memories of a lifetime. From our freshman year, coinciding with the start of the pandemic, to finishing our senior year, with not only our traditional senior events, but new and fresh events created by none other than the best senior sponsor we could ever ask for, Ms. Santian. <laughs> Ms. Santian influenced us all in positive ways, from a school mom for some of us to a senior English teacher. Her hard work and dedication to making our senior year the best ever was not only a success, but it will go down in HML history as one of the best senior years ever. 
We truly appreciate your efforts and are grateful for the things you did for us. It really made a difference in our senior year. My farewell to you, class of 2023, is to always keep a smile on your face and a positive mind frame. And as LeBron James once said, <laughs> it is time to chase every dream, accept every challenge, strive for greatness, and honor every promise. Welcome to your 2023 graduation. <laughs> and now, I would like to turn it over to our MC, Dr. Sosa. Thank you, Alex Xavier, for those words. And now our HML concert band will play the class of 2023 song. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Angie Suleta, Council Vice President with the Senior Class Address. Good morning, HMO Class of 2023. Give, go ahead, go ahead. Give yourselves a round of applause for looking absolutely stunning today. My name is Angie Zuleta, and I'm your 2023 Student Council Vice President. After today, you all officially add on to the proud history of our great Trojan country. We are the official 50th graduating class of Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High School. This also marks Coach Turner's 50th year of running students over in driver's ed. So if you see a funny stain in the school parking lot, make sure to look the other way. 
but I want to be able to take us on a quick little journey throughout our last four years together. As freshmen, we entered this school with bright eyes and even brighter orange shirts, with towering seniors skipping us in the lunch line as we came to learn about our orange and blue pride. Sophomore year was a challenge, with some of our classmates walking the hallways and others learning chemistry in bed with the camera off, but it was broken, of course. But then we finally got to enter our school building as juniors, feeling a little more wise and noticing that the freshmen were a little too small. We relearned the layout of the place that we would call home for the next two years, and we were also welcomely harassed while laughing with our friends on accounts like HML.randomness and HML caught sleeping. <laughs> but now we finally got to senior year. And with the help of Ms. Santian, Ms. Levenia, Fabio, acting as an incredible president, and the entire senior SGA board, we enjoyed a prom that took us around the world in less than three hours, a senior picnic where we learned that being on bus number two is a tragedy waiting to happen, and so many more great events. But you know, I realized the question that I heard the most when speaking to people outside of our building would always be, why HML? So you know what? Let's talk about the great seniors of our class as I give an itemized list to answer why HML. Why HML? Look towards our HML legal magnet, led by Ms. Adebisi. The HML Model UN Club is number one in the district out of 70 schools, two years in a row now. Why HML? HML Project Citizen has been representing the entire state of Florida on the national level, winning awards while we're at it. Why HMO? Let's look at HMO Chess, led by the wonderful Miss West, where our school won first place in the District North Region Chess Tournament with senior Sebastian Rosas winning a personal second place award. Why HMO? Let's look towards our HMO band, led and spearheaded by Mr. Segura with drum major Emma and four-year band seniors Nikeo, Barry, Kinley, and Giovanni. In here, we saw our school representing HMO, we saw our band representing HMO at the highest level for the honorable opening of schools for Miami-Dade County Public Schools back in August. Why HMO? We can look at our sports. This year, the HMO volleyball team are the official district finalists with Nikeo, Leone, and Elio acting as the seniors who led us towards this great victory. Why HMO? We can look at our HMO yearbook with Samantha, Michelle, Tron, Annabelle, Brianna, and so many other seniors curating an award-winning yearbook that we'll be treasuring for years to come. Why HMO? We can look at our HMO football team where we curate student athletes that represent us on the district-wide level with Curtis Everett, our male scholar athlete and Miami Dolphins Foundation scholarship recipient. Why HMO? We can look at our HMO Sapphires with Cassie, Neo, and Jahir continuously out there in blood, sweat, and tears, dancing in the rain, cold, and hot Florida sun to give us the best dancing of our lives at every single event. So at this moment, I'm saying loud and proud, that's why I chose HMO. And as I reflect on all our seniors' achievements, it leads me to our legacy as the class of 2023. There are 50 years worth of legacy which decorate our walls every time we enter the school building seen in the Hall of Famers. However, you don't need your face hanging on a wall in order to leave a legacy. Legacy is not about how great of an act you do, but the lasting effect that your actions will have on someone, and we will all be a part of that legacy. And someone who left an especially great legacy on HMO is our English teacher, mentor, and friend, Mr. Garcia, who will be graduating with us. So make sure to congratulate him on his second graduation from HMO. He also happens to be a grad of the class of 84, AD. But he has shown that legacy is found in the small moments of life, in every classroom, where the kindness you show manages to make someone's day that much brighter. So congratulations to those of us who are first generation graduates, or even the second or third to hold a high school diploma in their family. You have all set a legacy for generations to come. And to those of us who decide to go straight into the workforce, are college bound, or even those who have decided to serve our country, you are shaping the legacy of a lifetime. So while we think about the legacy that we'd like to leave on this world, I want to take this time to quote someone who many would call the greatest poet of the 21st century, considered a philosopher by many. Nicki Minaj once said, <laughs> we done did everything that they can think of. Greatness is what we on the brink of. 
So I invite you to make that little promise to make sure that you don't stop the legacy that's going to move mountains and shake ocean floors. Y para los padres que no entendieron una palabra de lo que acabo de decir, solo sepan que sus hijos los aman y que han hecho un gran trabajo criando a estas hermosas criaturas. So I'd like to express my gratitude for being given the chance to speak to you all today. It has been a true honor and pleasure to serve the class of 2023. Think about the legacy you'd like to leave on this world. Personally, I intend to work as an immigration lawyer in this great country. <laughs> in order to help out the families that look just like mine, where parents never received a high school diploma, but where children have the opportunity and the chance to be able to be there and make a name with what they're given in this country. So gracias, mami, papi, y viva Honduras! <laughs> so I wish you all the best of luck in all your future endeavors, and I hope that you find a place for HMO in all of your successes. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, Angie, for those words. And now, it is my pleasure to welcome back our STEAM principal, Mr. Juan Ramirez, for his remarks. How am I supposed to follow that? My goodness. Great job, Angie. Dear graduates of Hialeah Miami Lakes Senior High School, congratulations on this occasion. Today not only marks Hialeah Miami Lakes Senior High's 50th annual commencement ceremony, but it also marks the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. You should be immensely proud of yourselves for reaching this important milestone in your lives. As you look back on your high school journey, I'm sure there are many memories that come flooding back. Some of these memories may be fond and heartwarming, while others may be challenging and difficult. But regardless of the ups and downs, you made it to this day. And that is what matters most. I want to take a moment to acknowledge and thank your parents, guardians, teachers, support staff for their unwavering dedication and support throughout your high school years. They have been instrumental in helping you reach this point, and they deserve our gratitude and appreciation. The graduates of this distinguished class have earned nearly $2 million in scholarships to various colleges and universities. These students seated before you have been accepted to prestigious universities in 26 different states, universities such as Harvard, Bowdoin, University of Florida, Florida International University, Florida State University, Bethune-Cookman, Alabama A&M, Emory-Riddle Aeronautical University, and many more. As you leave HML, and enter the next chapter of your lives. Remember that you are equipped with the skills, knowledge, and experience to succeed in whatever you choose to pursue. Whether you are planning to attend college, enter the workforce, or explore other opportunities. I think you guys heard that theme before. You have the power to make a positive impact on the world around you. I would like to take a moment to recognize and thank the students who have made a commitment to join our armed forces to defend this great nation. As your name is called, please stand and be recognized. Temelu Loa Adebiye, Rasen Dominic Garcia, Mohamed Zagbi, Nicholas Ordunez. Alejandro Reyes, Max Riley, Valeria Zamora, and currently serving with our U.S. Army, Spazis Obel Guzman. Thank you. 
Thank you. You may be seated. I encourage all of you to stay curious, never stop learning, and always strive for excellence. Embrace challenges, take risks, because these experiences will help you grow and develop as individuals. But as you move forward, don't forget where you came from. Stay connected to your roots, your community, your values. Remember that you are part of a legacy of Hialeah Miami Lakes senior high school graduates. And you carry that legacy wherever you go. I would like to take a moment to introduce and recognize a student who has achieved a remarkable feat of perfect attendance through their 13 years of school. It is with great admiration that I present to you Anthony Arvello, a shining example of dedication, commitment, and perseverance. The Arvello family, the parents are graduates of HML. Anthony has exhibited an exceptional level of discipline, determination by having perfect attendance. In closing, I want to congratulate each and every single one of you on this incredible achievement. You have worked hard to get here. You should be proud of all that you have accomplished. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and I look forward to seeing your achievements in the years to come. It is a sincere honor and privilege to be your principal. Never forget, we are HML. Congratulations, class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, as principal of Hialeah Miami Lakes Senior High School, I am proud to begin the roll call of the 50th graduating class. Reading of diplomas will be done by Mr. Randy Jones. At this time, I would like to pause to honor one of our very own Trojans, who is now with us today to celebrate and receive his diploma. I ask that everyone please rise and join the Hialeah Miami Lakes family in a moment of silence in the memory of Andrew Chirino. Thank you. You may be seated. I ask now that is Andrew's sister, who is a graduate, stay right there, stay right there, who's a graduate of HMO. Andrew's, yes, Andrew's heart was pure, kind, loving, and gentle. He had a pleasant spirit to not only his friends, but his teachers as well. Reflecting on Andrew as a student, his teachers all had the same memorable moments. Wherever he came to class or passes by them in the hallways, he would always greet them with a big smile and call them by their name. His teachers feel blessed to have such a kind young man as part of their professional journey.
Samantha Urena. Angie Zuleta. Fabio Gomez. Sebastian Rosas. Noah McCray. Angelina Tabaras. Catherine Soli. Alexavier Baca. Anthony Arvelo. Max Concepcion. Isaac Goinaga, Joseph Gonzalez, Thomas Grau, Kevin Montero, Eileen Orta. Lauren Perez. Luar Reynoso. Arlene Salcedo. Alyssa Valdez. Isabel Alvarez. Alex Cardoso. Danielle Assis. Jasmine Lago. Brandon Lores. Derenia Sabrine. Kevin Sepulveda. Annabelle Somoza. Oshara Valladares. Jessica Vasquez. Nizea Kaysen. Sean Cha. Curtis Everett. Michelle Lopez. Hannah McRae. Dominic Perez. Ellie Perez. Laura Sardina. Nicole Wood. Jenny Arai. Ezekiel Arias. Angelina Asbert. Henry Estacio.
Caleb Bart Apia. Alejandro Benitez. Bendia Benoy. Emily Diaz. Annette Diaz. Rencel Dominic Garcia. Jordan Escaline. Mahika Falcon Basos. Alex Fernandez. Merlin Fernandez. Jalen Fertil. Rick Aben. Christopher Acosta. Alexandra Acosta. Temilolua Adabiyi. Jael Alberry. Wilfredo Alfonso. Odena Anderson. <laughs> Melissa Bienami. <laughs> Leone Brito. <laughs> Randy Bryant. <laughs> Carlo Mario Caceres. Alexander Canto. Maria Casas. Angelina Clavero. Teresa Cordon. Chrissy Figueroa. Jason Figueroa. Paul Flores. Bianca Flores Molina. Darian Fowler. Jason Gallardo. Efrain Garbayo. Jonathan Granados. Giselle Grant. Blessings Grant. Obel Guzman. Dakota Headley. Yanis Echevarria. Mila Heredia. Damaris Hernandez. Rodney Hernandez. Renaja Hill. Tom Cruz. 
Isaiah Cruz. Alvin Davis. Hannah De La Fuente. Angel Dave Oliver. Sabrina Diaz. Camila Garcia. Ciara Garcia. Annalise Garcia. David Garcia. Monica Garcia. Ariana Gibson. Safira Hyde. Liz Iriarte. Jahira Jackson. Jarius James. Alexander Jimenez. Liliana Jimenez Duenas. Kelsey John. Janesta Joseph. Sebastian Juliax. Eddie Rodriguez. Yesnir Yanis. Rashawn Lockhart. Joan Lorente. Brianna Lewis. Leandra Madri. Jenny Marrero. Jimmy Marshall. Joy Marshall. Elio Martin. Anna Martinez. Paula Martinez. Kevin Montalongo. Hold on. <laughs> Vincent Gill. Tamia Givens. Johnny Keels. Vanessa Landrian. Amanda Lasso. Leone Leguillo. Daimi Leva. Evers Morales. Jasmine Morales. Miguel Morel. Marcos Munoz. Manuel Munoz. Samara Negron. Shamia Noel.
Isaiah Noel. Sergio O'Reilly. Nicholas Ordunez. Nigel Hyde. Amy Molina. Giovanni Perez. Eduardo Perez. Justin Pozo. Jason Prada. Brianna Pumarol. Pamela Quesada Torres. Sebastian Ramirez. Alejandro Ray. Jada Rhodes. Max Riley. Kayla Rivas. Carla Rivero. Clarence Robinson. Arturo Jose Valdez. Angelica Ospina. Jennifer Palomo. Deatrice Parker. Marvin Rodriguez. Anthony Ruiz. Angie Sanchez. Lucas Sanchez Pillick. Erica Santana. Caitlin Santiesteban. Markel Scott. Ariana Scott. Francisco Serra. Sena Silva. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeremiah Simpkins. Joshua Rodriguez. Jenilyn Torres. Adriana Urena. Danielle Valdez. Cynthia Valdivia. Abiel Vargas. Emily Vasquez. Marcos Vasquez. Heidi Valiz. Isaac Williams. Kamari Wright. Jaheed Bailey. Teron Grissom. Sean Gillard.
Samantha Terano. Anita Thompson. Sabrina Toro. Amber Rodriguez. Alexander Rodriguez. Valeria Zamora. Raciel Araujo. Ziomara Severino. Neo Fry. Cassandra Forcade. Emma Ojito. Mauricio Cuba. Giovanna Falletta. Kevin Moran. Mohamed El Zogbi. Hanan Elamar. Giovanni Marbell. Fatima Gutierrez. Kinley Blanchett. Barry Dudley. It up. Nakeo Carroll. Graduates, please stand. As principal of Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High, I certify that these seniors have met all the requirements set forth by Miami-Dade County Public Schools and the state of Florida. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2023 to be graduates of Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High. <laughs> graduates, at this time, please move your tassels from right to left and join our band and choir students in singing our alma mater.
You may be seated. And now, here's a special song dedicated to all our graduates from their senior chorus members. Thank you, Ms. Ramos and our core students for such a beautiful selection. Thank you, Mr. Segura and our HML band for their music this morning. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats until the graduates have exited. Thank you for attending our 50th annual graduation. <laughs> <laughs> 